was easy. <laughs> well, the question for me is, is uh, Jeffrey Simmons being able to handle him at nose tackle. How, how do y'all expect to handle him? Well, I mean, we're going to have to do a great job. Because, you know, when, when you play against a great player and a great front like this, you're going to have to have technique. You know, it's technique and fundamentals, and you got to be able to, to take your protection and make sure you help your center on some stuff, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be ready to do that. The uh, play week, what were you guys able to do to kind of tweak and fix and look at what you've done and add and subtract just the normal stuff? Yeah, you go back to yourself, Scott, you know, for your first six games, and, and you know, you look at that and you see what you've done well, and, and uh, you, know, you try to... Uh, Expand on that and, and dress it up a little bit with different formations and different personnel. And then uh, the stuff that wasn't so good, you find out why. And uh, is it personnel? Is it uh, just technique? Is it, is it fundamentals? Can it be fixed? And if it's not, it's out. And then you go to your your bank and you find stuff that you have not done and, and you add it. And so we picked up a couple days, so there's some stuff that, uh, some new wrinkles that, that we have and uh, stuff that looks good after tomorrow. Uh, will be added. So if you were reversed in their role, if they had the buy and, and, and that kind of thing, would you be worried about what new thing that you'd have to adjust to quickly? Yeah, you always do. Like Missouri, for example, they came off and, and, and yeah, I was worried about new stuff and, you know, you guys got to be ready, especially uh, on blitzes and, and different things like that. So uh, you hope that your scheme handles most of it, but, uh, you know, it changes when you, when when you go out there and it's going live and hopefully at, at halftime you can make any adjustments if there's something that you haven't seen that you got to get fixed. You went against Kevin Todd Dave. Grantham a year ago, did pretty well. Has he changed what he does based on the personnel from school to school or is it a lot of the same kind of stuff? A lot of the same concepts, a lot of the same stuff that he does. He does a great job. Uh, you know, those kids know where to go. They're playing hard. Uh, I think they're first in the country at, at, at uh, not giving up first downs. Uh, the least amount of first downs, you know, you look at their statistics and uh, they're stingy, you know, so, uh, it, you know, it, it is a lot the same and, and you know, he's not going to change overnight just because he's got uh, uh, different guys, you know, their personnel matches a lot what, what Louisville was, you know, they're really good and they fly around and they're physical. Eastern Michigan and Florida, they brought a lot of pressure on the edge. Is it, is it, do you, are you going to see that same type of pressure? Yeah, I, I don't know if they, I mean, that was more fundamentals. You know what I mean? It wasn't when, when you say pressure, pressure to me is, is when they're blitzing and, you know, they're, they're, they've got their guys, they've got their rushers, and we're going to have to be really good and, 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 and be able to get the ball out. First down well, call up doesn't always tell the whole story looking at it, but, but what do you see when you look at them in regard to the first downs you were just mentioning? Say it again, I'm sorry. You know, first downs don't always tell the whole story. Stats, but what does it tell you when you put it together with their film? And they're they're, they're, they're going to stop the run. They're, they're going to do a good job. They're going to have guys up in the box or safeties fill, and uh, they're going to stop the run first. And uh, after that, then uh, you know you got to be efficient on uh, on throwing the ball when you do throw it. You got you have to be efficient. Uh, you get behind the chains on these guys, and, and you're going to have some problems. So we got to do a great job. Uh, uh, staying ahead of the chains in this game. When you leave the SEC and come back, do you miss the cowbells in practice and in the games? Uh, it's been a long time since I've been there, but uh, you know we had the cowbells going today, so uh, it, it brought back a lot of memories. You know, the four years at Ole Miss, and it's a great venue to play at. Uh, it's loud, and uh, their, their fans are passionate. What do you tell <laughs> your group going into to that situation? And how, how do you sort of combat that? I, I mean, we couldn't hear today. I, I couldn't make one. I, I couldn't talk. So you just let them play, and you, you know, this is how it's going to be. You know, there's going to be times when you can't hear. It's not going to be like that the whole time, like it was today at practice. But uh, <coughs> it, it, you really, it comes into focusing, and then you got to really communicate. And if, if you can't, if you can't communicate on the road, you've got no chance. So uh, that's what today was about. Today was about communicating and, and making sure, seeing the formation changes and guys getting on and off the field and in a good time, and, and, and I really like what I saw today. Yeah, the open date and Drake Cameron had a game under the belt and then somebody else, the maneuver and you have to do an offense run. Do you feel like it's coming together? Yeah, you know, I think he, he, he competes and, and, and he got a little bit of time under him. And, and game reps, you can't, you know, you can't, uh, you can't simulate that out here, you know? So him getting in the game, and, and I think he'll just get better every week, just like Langdon did last year. Eddie, how has Garrett Johnson performed versus what your expectations were? Well, we talked about that yesterday, as a matter of fact. Uh, 
way people are noticing him is uh, just everything he's doing. Backside, blocking downfield, uh, he's really bought in to what's going on and uh, been a great leader. His practice habits are different. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, I'm really excited about where Juice is, is coming and, and how far he's come and, and his leadership and so forth, you know. But uh, just, I mean, little things like backside box. I mean, it might be all the way over here and he's down the field and he's in somebody's grill and he's, he's working hard. You talk about the experience in the practice field versus in the game. You know, a lot of those close games had to do put together two minute drills. What, what are some of the lessons that you learned from getting that kind of experience in a game? Well, I think as a as a as a play caller, you know, you, you, you look at what they do in two minute, and, and I think uh, Coach Henshaw and, and the staff has put together some good plans for that. And you know, at the end of the day, it's about what we do out here every single uh, Wednesday. You know, it's live, and we've got the time clock going, and, and we're trying to put them in those pressure situations. So when you do get to that moment, that it, it's not so much pressure. You know, now you let your fundamentals take over, your technique, and and, and you can do your job. So I think. Those situations coach puts us into and in those high pressure situations they're not as high pressure. You like the mentality that you guys embrace going on the road? I do. Uh, you know, that stems from the head coach. You know, it's really it's all you got. You know, when you, when you go you get on that bus, you get on that plane, it's it's you, you know, you're going down there and you know it's a hostile environment and uh, but that's why you play in this league, that's why you play football. You know, for the opportunities to go on the road and, and to try to come out uh, with a victory. Everybody good? Thank right. you. Thank, Thank you. you.